Hey, what's up? Tuck, welcome back to another patch. You know, there's a lot of things that can come into question when buying new gear or uh, wanting new gear. And there's a lot of arguments to be made on either side, whether or not you need it, whether you may already have something that can do it. But I think one factor in gear that's very overlooked is physical touch. The way that physical touch can inspire and open up new creative possibilities that you might not have otherwise thought about. It's one of the reasons I love hardware so much. And if you were to touch one thing, if you were to touch one piece of gear, if I were to touch one piece of gear, it'd probably be this thing. I mean, look at that thing. Who wouldn't want to touch that thing? It's the Dopifer A174-4 3D joystick. There's a couple of Eurorack joysticks. I really like this one mainly because it is spring loaded. So if you flick it, it'll go back to the center, which I really like. It also has this button in the middle and a function where you twist it. And there's just so many different ways you can use this thing to control your patch. One downside to it, and this is a downside to a couple of Dopa for modules, is that it's 50 millimeters deep, which is really deep for a module, so it doesn't fit in this IntelliGel case I have, which I really would have liked. Uh, so I temporarily have it in this bulky Dopa for case. But other than that, it's pretty inexpensive. It was just on sale for Black Friday at Perfect Circuit, which is where I got it. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's sick. All right, real quick before we get into the patch, if you're not wearing headphones, uh, I would recommend getting some because this patch is very stereo. Lots of stereo modulation going on. How I have this joystick set up is that every time I click the button, we generate a random four voice chord within a set scale. Now, using the QPass stereo filter, when I press a chord and take the joystick to the left. We open up the filter on the left side and when I take it to the right, we open up the filter on the right side. If I tilt the joystick up, we'll increase the resonance of the filter. And if I turn the joystick, if I twist it to the right, we will increase the attack and release of the envelope. And turning it to the left does the opposite. I really love this patch because this joystick feels like something you'd see in an airplane or a spaceship or something. Uh, and with just my hand, I can sort of just navigate through different chord progressions. So now let's use it in context. That's all I got for today. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see me control with the joystick because there's a ton of things and a ton of fun that could be had. Um, until next time, tuck. Peace. Mm -hmm.